Welcome back to Stay Tuned. I'm Tony Angelo and Stay Tuned is back on my YouTube channel. We are super pumped to be here. Uh, we did a little stint at a more corporate channel. Turned out to be a little bit too, more, too corporate for us and we were a little bit too rowdy for them. And we are here and ready to rock. It's gonna be the same great team of dudes. Uh, we've got a big pile of projects and we're gonna be putting out weekly content at least. So get ready for lots and lots of stay tuned. Starting with my 1974 Street Freak Firebird, one of my favorite products we've got going right now. This thing just is a total killer. So a little bit of background on this car. I bought it for a thousand bucks. Uh, just it had been sitting total barn fine for like 30 years. Um, this guy who I finally tracked down told me he painted it in 83. Um, it's a complete 80 street freak. It's so cool. Bass boat flake, velour interior. The whole deal I had nothing. It was just a roller. And we spent the better part of five months like absolutely killing whatever rust we can, making it look good and replacing a ton of parts on this car, getting it ready to build a beast motor so this thing could run hard again. After we got the Firebird running, we took it to Sick Week in February with three goals in mind. One, make it to every track and finish the event. Two, average 11 seconds over the course of the event. And three, hit a 10 second quarter mile time. We were able to do one with a little bit of work. We made it to every event. Number two, we averaged 1160 for the week, but we came up short on number three, running a 10 second run. This is our brand new Street Freak Firebird 70s inspired baseball tee. Boom, sick week on the back, three quarter sleeve. Get them while they last. Check out the link in the description below. Whew. This is a Butler 462 proper Pontiac engine. Had to keep it Pontiac. Took a while to get the parts together. Butler Performance is the best dudes for Pontiac anything out of Tennessee. Um, essentially, it's a 400 that is now stroked with forged internals to a 462. And, it, you know, we first put it together. It was fun. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the blower on it, right? Yeah. This car came with a giant hole in the hood, which means the blower was coming. We just had to get all the parts together. Everything Pontiac is just harder to get our hands on. We had to, like, find the one guy making blower yeah. manifolds and drive systems. Uh, and at first, it made, like, 350 wheel Something horsepower. Like that, yeah. And it was a little bit of a letdown, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I, you know, it's low compression, so we didn't expect much, but then we got a blower from Speedmaster, bolted it on, and this thing made 570 wheel horsepower. And it screams, it's proper old school. Like, no computer or anything, two giant carburetors on top, squeals, screams, pops, backfire, it's awesome. So once you're making, you know, some pretty serious horsepower, uh, you've got to beef up your whole drivetrain behind it. And we want to take this car out. I want to drive it on the street. Um, it's a stick car. We've seen you drive. Yeah. We got to, this has got to be beefy. It's got to be beefy. We want to take it to drag and drive events. Uh, we want it to do everything. We want it to last. And also, I want it to be able to launch hard. Mm -hmm. It's a big, heavy car. It's making a bunch of power. This motor weighs 9 million pounds. So everything has got to be ready to rock once we put a bunch of traction mm -hmm. and RPM into this oh, thing. Yeah. And here's how that went. So we've got a ton of drivetrain upgrades here, plus a few more you can't see. So let's get to it. Turn this thing from a sex machine into a wheelie sex machine and into space. Let this bird fly. I love it. So what we have here is a quick performance nine inch rear end housing. So what's really cool about this is that it's like a direct drop in for the second gen F body, which means it's already got spring pads welded onto it. We went, we sprung for a few options. It's got a quarter inch thick axle tubes. They're beefier than the base unit. Uh, it has reinforced spring pads. It's got this cool little plate down here. Let's use a jack to jack the whole car up. It's got a fill plug and a drain plug. And then the whole thing is powder coated black. So it's ready to assemble, very stout unit, and we can just toss it together. Well, this big beefy boy. This is from Speedmaster. This is their HD heavy duty center section. We're running a 370 gear with their Torque Worm LSD. That's like a helical gear driven limited slip diff. It comes all set up, which is great. If you buy the whole unit from Speedmaster, obviously they've checked the gear interface. Looks great, big and flat, really good between the pinion gear and the ring gear. They've got it all dialed in for you. So we can just toss it in 
and look like heroes. Watch your fingers. That is a nice piece. That is a nice piece of kit right there. Look at the size of this monster. 1350, that's the big dog. This came off like big trucks back in the day. This thing's all yoked up. You know what I'm saying? Dad jokes. Yeah, this is our new long sleeve. Really lets you move and breathe. If you're a night prowler, get yourself one of these. Michael's wearing his Christmas gift. This is the firing order hoodie from David Freiberger. You can go on Instagram slash David Freiberger and there's a link. Yes. If you That's watch our Buick episode, somebody, I'm not gonna say who it was, got the plug wires crossed twice and we wound up yeah, driving one time. one time. You did it one time. But then we drove it from New York to New Jersey like that, and it was a disaster. Oh, yeah. That was me. So for Christmas, I got him this sweet shirt. So I'll never forget. Never forget. And I got you guys all Dale Earnhardt stuff. Big three. Hell yeah, 2023, baby. 2020, Dale. We wear legendary stuff. Yeah. In an effort to keep this like 80s vibe, we got drum brakes, which I do not like, and I'm not good at them. But we got them anyway, because we never learn. Uh, these are 11 inch, I think, Explorer units. Luckily, they're on a loaded backing plate. It seems like by the end of this year, we're gonna be good at drum brakes, whether we like it or not. I'm not gonna like it, but it's gonna happen. These are T-bolts. They come in through the back of the flange. Uh, we are running for axles, these 35 splined hardened units from Quick Performance. They've got extended half inch studs that thread in through the back. They were nice enough to press the bearings on for us, so this is going to slap right together. Try not to push that out. There you go. Hold it different. That's Hold it different. Hold on. Is that hardened steel? This is hardened, yeah. So are these axles. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So in a change of pace for Zimmy, he's got the long one on his side. Yep. This, is new this is new territory. And then that should clear the brakes and slide all the way in. I need a little tappy tap. Get it out of here. Raising the car. Rear end's gonna stay put. It's just that easy, as long as you fight with everything and then have a lift. Hang on, hang on. Okay, never mind. She's free. All right, we've got these split monos, the leaf springs hanging down. We're gonna wheel our new nine inch rear end in, kind of position it here and we'll swing these up, bolt it up, see how everything looks. All right, raise her up. There she is. Oh, oh, oh. This is sick. See so, ya. Yeah. We have a couple hundred. I know. Awesome. All right. So we just got a fresh set of Rocket racing wheels. We're going 15s. Tossing those on with some 275, 60, 15s. Rear end is in. We connected our QA1 shocks. We got the Caltrax all dialed in. Everything is bolted together. Just gonna toss these wheels on. One of my favorite parts of a car build is like throw the wheels on, take a step back, have a look at it. It's the best part. First fire up. Yeah, first fire up is big. My, one of the things I think this is awesome is uh, when everything works in the driver's seat, like when you have a shifter and the steering wheel turns the wheels. This car does it all. And the clutch does. I mean, well, yeah, once you get everything, everything going, that's a good one. All right, but essentially this is just capping off the rear end beautifully. We gotta get some old, we gotta get some proper old school tires on here, man. You're killing me with it, killing me with this. I know they say kin kinergy in raised by letters, but I don't even know if that's the word, but I'll take it over this fancy modern, like modern art with the grooves. <laughs> <laughs> got a blower on there and stuff. Yeah, that's some rake. We got to come up with the front. I guess that's really our only option. 
A little gap in the back. It looks good. Serious. All right, so we've got the rear end all dialed in. This thing's ready for 2,000 horsepower. It's now time to talk about this transmission. And what we're rocking right now is a Muncie M22. It's like the best four-speed that Chevy ever gave you on the street. M22 rock crusher, it means the gears are a little bit stronger. Uh, this has an auto gear case. I've got the American powertrain clutch system in here, plus a Hayes clutch, Hayes flywheel, and it honestly drives incredibly well, but it would never handle the kind of abuse and just absolute jackassery that we're gonna throw at this thing on the track, so it's gotta come out. Plus, I don't wanna blow, if we did it and it blew up, I would be bummed because this is such a nice street transmission yeah. setup. We're gonna take it out. Listen, as long as you want your giant V8 to cruise along at 3,600 RPM on the highway, this is the way to go. I was rolling with you in the K car, tacked out like, whoa! We're going 68 miles an hour going to E-Town. It was brutal. I got nine miles to the gallon. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're cutting that throat. Oh, there oh. it goes. Here she goes. All right, I got the back. Right. You got it? Yeah. All right, easy, easy. Got it. What's wrong with it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did that. I did it, yeah. She's got, That's good. She got some, she's seen some heat. Uh, when I took it out to do that first burnout, I didn't really pop the clutch out. I thought I could like feather it in. It would grab the tires, have like a smooth takeoff. And I wound up just putting a ton of heat in the clutch. I'll blame myself a little bit on this one. Um, some of my best work, really. Mystery pizza. Hell yeah. Wow. Same time. Ready? Oh. The old classic cheese. Damn, that looks good. And he goes, congratulations, okay. you're the winner of a free pizza. That's it. Like, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I didn't even enter. So yeah, this is, uh, like I said, a great street transmission right here. Muncie M22 with an auto gear case. But we're gonna run instead is a proper straight out of a 15 year old, 20 year old NASCAR. Twin plate clutch is installed with our liquid bell housing. The next thing in line is this bad boy. This is a proper old school NASCAR dog box, full on racing transmission. This is one of the raddest things you can do to your car to make it work like a race car. This thing is performance oriented from top to bottom. This is an older box, this is a Tex Racing T101. Maybe it's a T101A, I'm not exactly sure what generation it is, but essentially no synchros, full straight cut gears, everything is beefier, it weighs an absolute ton. See the monster. And what's cool about this thing is like, this would have come out of a real straight up NASCAR like 20 years ago. This, this bad boy here could have been Dale's. 100%. Could have been. So, so come in here and I'll, we'll dig into this NASCAR four speed and I'll show you exactly what's going on inside of this dog box. That's it, that's the bang, the pow. Yep, so this is fully straight cut gear. You can slide all these gears on and off, these, this main shaft and the counter shaft, you can change every gear independently. You can change the whole gear split, um, full on racing setup. These, like I said, it's fully face plated every gear. These are the dog rings. You can tell this transmission's a beast. It's got that, it's got that dog in them. This, you could put this thing in first gear at 8,000 RPMs going, you know, 85 miles an hour. And it'll just, it will just fall, it'll just do it. When you let the clutch out, a lot of other bad things are gonna happen, but this transmission will do it. All right, we've got all the old clutch stuff out of the way. Now we're gonna get serious. I feel like 007 in this bad boy. We've got our new Mantic twin plate clutch. It comes in this briefcase, so you know how serious it is. This clutch is top secret. So this is the deal. You're looking at a sprung hub, fully ceramic plates, stacks into a custom flywheel we had these guys make us. Uh, they don't have a Pontiac application, but they're probably gonna have one soon. And this is the way it goes. It all stacks in in this beautiful sandwich. against that flywheel. More or less, there are posts that come out of the flywheel and these friction plates and alternating clutch plates will go in there, one big sandwich, bolt down, and hold up to 1,000 horsepower. Pretty sick setup. When you're done, you can use this for microfilm. 
espionage, uh, Wall Street trading, whatever you're into. So Zach refreshed our long shifter, cleaned it out, re-lubed it up. I tried to put it up and into the car and there's just no room for this thing. They space it out really far so they can run these straight shift rods for extra strength with rod ends. It's all like a very burly racing setup, but there's no room in here. And this car is like a time capsule and I want to run full interior. So we're going to try to adapt our Hearst Competition Plus because essentially this is like an old Borg Warner on steroids. Like the whole architecture is pretty much the same. I think with the right amount of spacers and everything, we should be able to get it to work. Um, we'll find out, but that's the plan. That way I don't have to hack that up. Probably a little bit of massaging with a hammer and this thing will go right in. Yeah, you guys never, neither one of you guys ever messed with four speeds, huh? Only six speeds, yeah. five speeds. Well, he was like, I never drove a four speed until now. I was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. I've driven four speeds. I've never had them apart. Yeah, he asked me to take the shifter apart. He's like, do you know how like one of the normal ones goes apart? I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I never I'm thought about that. Right now. My first car is a four-speed. I've been doing this forever. All right. Yeah, we get I, never had, I never had arms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Rub it in. Put, uh... Put that shifter on there, guy. All right. Liz. Is that full, full gauge? Full engagement? You gotta give her a little spin. Yeah, it's a dog box, you gotta spin. Give me the drill. I mean, it sounds great. I don't, we, the it only concern, like go ahead and go again. Good. And the only concern is like, we're gonna run her. I think it works. I think that... Not ideal, but if you're gonna put a dog box into a car you don't wanna cut up, this seems to be a way to do it. We're gonna let her ride. Why not? Let's put this, like we can go, what's, which one's the longer stroke here? something else. Don't worry about that. So we've got the post for the American powertrain throw out bearing loaded into our front retainer here and all the Hearst stuff is gone but we've got the levers on. We're going to toss it up and in and start connecting everything. You got that? I guess. Want somebody to grab the tail shaft? I guess at some point yeah. yeah. There's that lift again. All right I got the back. All right. These bolts can't all be in here. That's pretty stupid. The light can't be in there. Either. I'm aware, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Hold on. Up. Can I get my hand for you? You gotta go in the front there. Just hang it. There you go. Through? Yeah, but it's got to sit on the right post. I know. That's okay. I'm trying to see if I can get my hand in here. I can't remember. Barb, you're too high. You're too high? There you go. Okay. Now stop. Close. Super close. The whole thing have to come up? Yeah, but start freeze, freeze, freeze. Can you see that? I'm trying to see if it's on there. It's definitely hit. Oh, f yeah. We're it's in? on there. I got it. Slam it home. All right, put some bolts in her. Yeah, there you go. The retainer is pretty tight, so. I, I measured the, it was like within a couple thousand. So oh, we know, it's, it's right, it just pulls in tight. This is a pain. Yeah. Well, get something, you know, pull it in square, because it's a tight yeah. fit on that retainer. Yeah, blue races, baby. Blue races. You buy a Chevy yet? Not yet, dude. I'm just I love <laughs> It did make me giggle pretty good. I gotta tell you whose this is. Yep. Just got this sexy shaft from my boy Brandon. Too much. To take it down. That's too much. Uh, I like just got this three and a half. <laughs> I like that. Okay. You got this three and a half inch. Shaft. Coming in hot. Coming in pretty hot there. It's way bigger. Okay. Just picked up this sweet custom drive shaft from my boy Brandon at Hartman Drive Shaft. It should. I don't know. Spin. Yeah, it shouldn't explode into a million pieces. I love that. In theory. Here we go. We got it out on the street. We've got our NASCAR four-speed dog box, the twin plate clutch, quick performance, nine inch. Let's go. We're ready, ready, to go, ready. Man. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> That's it, baby. Woo! 
it's a race car now. Oh yeah. Hear that? You're gonna hear it forever. Oh. I'll never be able to sleep. That's fine. Oh man. <laughs> this is a real race car. I think oh, we're going man. left here. Alright? Yep. NASCAR plus blower wine equals awesome. Yeah, equals yes. I'm trying to keep it easy. We got a lot of clutch. I'm using the clutch every time, but theoretically, yeah. I could just dip off the throttle, but I'm just going to drive it right. We got a lot of clutch to break in. We got the rear end to break in. Woo! <laughs> I love this. Yeah, so it's a race car now. <laughs> full on, grab the keys for the trunk. Yep. This is a full on race car now. Oh man. Yeah, it makes all the noises. Holy Every box, Bro, every sick. box. It's so sick. It's like, yeah, the wine down. down the road under load is amazing. Now right, open that up. Uh, yeah, put that boost stain in. Oh yeah, I was like, what do I need this for? Yeah, I don't know why we got away from those. It's my favorite. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. This is not, we're not in Florida, dog. We're not in Florida yet, boys. Not in Florida yet, oof. Looking forward to that, though. Anything over there? Uh, there is nothing. That's good. It's not, it's not yeah, anything, anything on that oil? Oil lines? We finally got a car that doesn't leak. Take what you want, know that I'll give it cause I just Florida dude, cut off leaves. No. I just gonna say, oh my god. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah. Tony. Yeah. Uh, can I get a Connecticut roll, please, with tots on the side? Owen. Oh. Oh. Uh, all right, deep lobster. Yeah, we've been meaning. Oh, Try to yeah. hunt this truck down. Mmm. In my face. That's delicious. Mmm. Hell yeah, one more. Mmm. Hell yeah. Look at this thing. We cruise it down 10 miles, no problem. A little spicy lunch. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to take it to the track. See if we can do some proper wheels up launches. I'm excited. I'm also freezing. This is delicious, though. This car is amazing. This is the best. I got a blower, a dog box, and power steering. Power steering. This Perfect. is the only car with power steering <laughs> and a dog box that's not an NASCAR. With a blower. Yeah, with a blower. Got one with a blower ever, probably. I probably. Love it. <laughs> oh, man. Everything needs a dog box. Everything. Dude. The greatest. Take a video of this. Greatest modification of all time. So hard. All right. <laughs> all right. This thing is running great. We're gonna put a little more miles of brake in on the transmission, clutch if you're in. And it's time to take this thing and see if we can do some wheels up proper oh, yeah. wheelie yeah. launches. Now the Firebird is ready to rock, we've got to get ourselves ready for the intense physical and mental demands of Sick Week. Serious. It's serious business. Banjo Bonanza? No, absolutely not. God, what is that, 850 on there? I would have read a 950 back in the day. They've got two carburetors.
just unloaded the Firebird here at Cecil County Dragway in Maryland. It's about an hour and a half from us outside of Philly. And uh, we've just done a couple things to the car. Essentially, we put drop knuckles on it and set the toe to fix the steering issue. We've got a bigger slick on the back. It's a 10 and a half inch stiff wall Mickey Thompson. Uh, they ran radial prep uh, test and tune today, which we're not allowed to run on because we're running a by, by slick. I'm still learning all sorts of drag racing stuff. So apparently like we were just not allowed to be here, but starting in about an hour, uh, the track goes hot for everybody. We can run out there. And again, we're just coming in. Hopefully this is the deal. We'll have it finally set up to do these beastly, you know, wheels up, full RPM launches and rocket this thing down the track and snag that 10 second ET. I'm very excited. I haven't been around drag strips since Florida, since sick week. And I'm like feeling it already. There's some mean, nasty cars out there going hard already. And I'm starting to get amped up. And we'll just do the cow tracks up there. Okay. So that's the flattest spot. Okay. So if you set the shocks, I would go compression, full, compression, full tight, full tight. In the Straight line scientists. Full loose on extension. Okay. And that's okay, that's right my right buddy Brad from yeah, PSR. He does a lot of tuning. Barb also has way more stick shift drag racing experience than me, which I have just one sick so weekend under my belt. Okay. Yep. I got it. All I heard is if it does a wheelie, don't let off the gas. So that sounds very exciting. Because that's bad, right? It'll just break everything. This is going to go to the <laughs> sky if this hooks, buddy. <laughs> okay. The front end is full loose. Yeah. On the front end. And the rebound's full tight, so it's not going to come down quick. Okay. And then in the back, it's going to be full compression and rebound halfway. All right. the track's fully there right now. So that's what happens when you run after a couple of Honda guys. You have the rear extension in the middle, right? What tire brakes do you have? 15. You gotta go Drop down. it to 12. Yeah. I know you want to run 12, but I want to run 10 and a half. Or, I mean, it was, it was wadding them up so hard when we went that low. But you have a different tire now. The car didn't even look like a I have the... That wasn't quite it. Car's running good. What? It was running good. It was running real good. Yeah. 125 and a half, I think, right? And I didn't even drive it through the I let off. Did you really? Okay. I just was like, I just in the rod. So it, yeah, so obviously it spun. Yeah. It did separate pretty good front end. It lifted hard. It okay. looked like it rolled out hard and then it spun a little bit. Okay. So we're going to go down the tire pressure and we're going to change the rear suspension a little bit. Okay. I think that front horn is getting loose. I don't know what we got to do with it. I just have to think about this for a second. So I have the compression half, loose. half left. No. You don't have it. Let me look over there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Compression to two, rebound at nine. That's what the guy says. <laughs>
four. We did 11-2. Let's do it again. Give me that 10.99. That's looking like 11-2-3. We gotta knock quarter second off and we're there. We just knocked two hundreds off. We just gotta do it one more time and we'll be, we'll be right there. We'll be right, right at 10-9 something. All right. Everything went in the right direction. Less slip, better launch, better 60 foot. We are over right there. That felt a little violent, but I want more. I want to, I want to feel like I got rear-ended by a truck. And I want the front wheel to point to the heavens. Then I'll be stoked. Oh, you got it? Yeah, everything went in the right direction for sure. We just need to get it a little more. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, okay. No, it, it's you didn't put it in the four, did you? Yeah. I watched it. It's perfect. I went to 67. Oh, yeah. fine. Perfect. And I shifted one, two early, and I... We'll just do better. I'll hold it. Yeah, just do, yeah, that, that's do that's it that's again. Good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Leave a little harder, and it should... It was, up, it was off the ground. Yeah? A little bit. Wheels and bolt off the ground. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. The most it's ever been. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, look at that. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's hard to tell them. I want to look at things. Oh, yeah, you want to see... I'm trying to look at the sky. That's two wheels yeah. off the ground. I'm trying to see like planes passing overhead. <laughs> NASA, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm gonna go, oh shit. Let's go. 10 8! Yes! Woo! Yes! Oh my god! There we go! 10 80! Oh man! Woo! Go! Oh, that feels good! Yeah! Yes! Let's go! Oh my god! I knew it was a hot one. It felt right. This thing launched hard. Bang the clutch. Woo! What did I tell you? I told you. He oh, was yeah. he was coming in he and more. he was turning to the right. Go. Oh. 1080. That's 1080. 128. That's why I said stop. Awesome. Yeah. Stop. Move over. He gets put him right out the side. He did. Yeah. Once he was out the side, I knew he was going to Let's go! Get out of this car! Bro, I was screaming. Go, baby! Woo! Oh, yeah. That feels good. Yo, it just worked. 128 and a half. I know. It hit you the rev still, limiter yeah. at the end. It still hit higher. Yeah. yeah that was we're, awesome. We're going up on the yeah. launcher. Oh, we're going to do more? Yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah. as soon as I bent down to get video, right in my face, yeah. you <laughs> oh yeah, I could tell immediately. I was like, we're on a hot one. 163, 60 foot. All right, so that's 168 before, right? 697 yeah. to the eighth. Yeah. Awesome. Woo! Yeah. He keeps going. But last tire. Ted, I'm like, Ted, yeah. says, Ted says when you're coming up, you're going like this and going you. right with the, that's why, with that's the why steering wheel. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. You're Stop. pulling it over to the right, and that's okay. why you're going crooked. But I, I think that needs a cow track adjustment too, because when thing. you came out, it's yeah. going right on you. Oh yeah, it did. It that might be you pulling the wheel too. I don't know. I put you yeah. a little bit out. Just you had a little bit of bite in there. Okay. And then I brought you right in. To see but he you had you left on the groove too, so you kind of drove into the groove as it, it went pulled right. over that way pretty yeah. hard. So you felt it pulling. Oh yeah, both okay, so in second it too. It was like it was like. Ah. Yeah. So you adjust it. You adjust the cow track, then it'll steer it one way or the other. Okay. Yeah. It definitely wants to go right pretty good. And then fix the cow track and make another one. Or we could like go get some beers. Let's do both. Let's do both. Let's do both. All right. Woo! 
I am fired up. Finally, 10 second pass, feels good. I never streamed so loud. Car, I knew it, I was like, I got, I got it and I didn't look at it for a second. I was like, and I knew, I was like, all right, let me look at this thing. I think I was screaming in the car. I was so pumped. 128 and a half. Yeah. I knew That's I was like, I was like. Were you on the rev limiter? Right, I hit the rev limiter right as I went through the track, like right through. I was like, it's perfect. Yeah. You see that? Yes, baby. There's like a million faster cars here, but I'm excited about this one. That's it for this episode of Stay Tuned. My Street Freak Firebird is now a proper, legit 10 second car with papers. We did it. We did it. It was awesome. Today was awesome. We just went faster and faster yeah. and uh, finally clicked off, checked off that third goal from Sick Week. And the wheels went up. The wheels went up. The car is a rocket ship. This is a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're really trying to build something here. I appreciate all you guys, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Okay. Appreciate all you like guys and gals. Yeah. You, you got it. Appreciate all you people.